Ah, your restaurant tonight. Yeah. Do you have space for us tonight? Why not? Yes. Soup, 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 soup. Yeah. How much is this? 350? Taking into account that we didn't know each other for a long time, I think the recipe behind it is that we have the same idea about how to climb in the mountains. Well, I think that no one was uh, really a hard character. I was just about to say, everyone says acclimatization is hard work, but here we are listening to teenage girl pop. But what happened? What ah. happened, Alex? I don't know. <laughs> I have this speaker for uh, like oh, yes. four bucks, so <laughs> the battery is already dead after one and a half minutes of playing. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> hey, how high are we? 5,000 meters. Oh, but we've lost Luca. Luca! I think he fall into the crowd. We We will search for him in the morning. <laughs> it will be more room. Yes. During acclimatization, um, skiing in mountaineering climbing boots, it's like uh, I would try to forget uh, about it as soon as possible. But probably I would do it again, like uh, just to go uh, light on the expedition. Tom, go right! Slightly Borat-esque right now. I must have my ham. <laughs> In 1978, Americans tried to climb the mountain from the north which was a really visionary thing. Since then, they solidified the north side of Latok 1 as a grand prize in the Himalaya. It had a big reputation. I think overall the whole thing was a big learning experience for me because I was new to the Himalayas, so I was glad that Luca and Elesh have a lot of experience. And they were good company, even though they are very hardcore. Cool. 
I think we had a good plan of ascent, good tactics, and uh, the challenge then was to stick to it, to keep a reality check the whole time, like are we still doing the right thing and are we still on schedule. If we would sense any kind of too big risk, uh, if we would stay behind the schedule, we would just bail, we would go back home with no regrets, no second thoughts, and uh, it would just the way it would be. Whilst we were in base camp, it was a real tragedy to learn about the Russian accident. The tragic death of uh, Glazuno and uh, dramatic helicopter rescue of Gukov, of course, had a big effect on us. We discussed our options at base camp and of course we were affected by the incident but we decided we were still psyched and so about a week later when some good weather arrived we launched for the route. Here we go, walking into the biggest, baddest thing I've ever seen, a huge mix of fear and some psych. About 2 a.m. Sunday, 5th. Shit scared. Shit psyched. Here we go. Nice one. The most uh, difficult part of the climb was for sure uh, picking the exact route and knowing when uh, certain parts uh, to climb it just to, to remain safe. The climbing style that all three of us are doing is a pure alpine style no matter if it's like in the Alps, in the Andes or in Himalayas. Settling in for our first cozy night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Huge bivy platform here. Don't roll that way or that way. Should we rock, paper, scissors for who's in the middle? What? Should we do rock, paper, scissors for who's in the middle? Dim. Am I on the movie? You are. On a movie. Oh, I'm so nervous. Pate? Mmm. Dobro. Down there is BC. What a view. But there is the bastard sunshine. We are not in the bastard sunshine. <laughs> Is everybody feeding knackered? Yes. Okay, right, let's go.
This is our bed for the night again. Don't roll that way. And don't roll that way. Oh, and don't go that way either. Just, just finished pitch two of the day. No, hang on. Just finish and uh, just finished pitch two of day three. And uh, Luca and Alej are out of sight and suddenly there's all this screaming and shouting. And I think, oh man, what's happened? Turns out Luca just needs a shit. So, all good. We're doing well. Got some more stuff to go. We'll see where it leads. Some pretty jumbo mushrooms. We've learned a new word. That word is hate And that is exactly how you describe this huge traverse. Okay, this is a video, but it's just to work out. It's just to work out where we've bivied. Don't give so me have... videos like that. Where we are now? No, no, because I can't remember. Comment. I'll seek you. Where... So where are we? No, no, no. Where did we bivy the first night? Was that five? What? One or five four? I don't know. No, no, that was it. Care. Five five. Why don't you care? This is. Fascinating stuff. Okay, five five, yeah, and then it was six. Then one. it was six one. Now it's six four. I <laughs> know. Oh, hang on, Our it can't be six. Is dropping. Huh? Six four. Our performance. Yeah. Yeah. But today yeah. we did like five miles traversing. Yeah. Horizontally, yeah. on ice, finish. on sixty to sixty-five degrees <laughs> ice. How did you say? Is this hate? Hate. <laughs> Hell, it was shit. Okay, that was all I was after. <laughs> okay, being friends with someone surrounded by all the comfort is pretty easy, but having that relationship in a harsh environment, it's something totally else, and I think this was our biggest success on the expedition. How much does altitude suck? A lot. <laughs> well, your finger is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh, but I think I'll faint. <laughs> yeah, grim. All we've got is 300. Oh. All we've got is 300 meters left. Fingers crossed. I took like three as well. Yeah, maybe on the way down. I might. I might skip that actually. Okay. The score is. 6,800 meters, 300 meters to go. <laughs> some, some, maybe 500 like meters too much. A foot of snow last night, probably not that much. Probably not. Yeah. And we're all psyched to get down. <sighs> yeah. On the morning of day five, we woke up to really bad weather and all thoughts of the summit immediately disappeared. We just wondered about getting down safely. Uh, thankfully, the weather improved and we thought we'd have a look. The summit is just 
just up there. Yee -hoo. Well, can you look? Can you put your head against the snow? There it is. Like that. Good. Okay, story. <laughs> the summit ridge, and then these guys just about to go for the top. I think it's already been. Oh, this is just going. We've got a nice bit of cloud, or a nice bit of sunshine, all of a sudden. That's where we've come from. journey. Incredible. On the fifth day we got to the summit and actually it looked a lot like Scotland. The weather was pretty rubbish and we knew that the top was only the point at which we had to start descending and so we were still very focused on the descent. Oh, <laughs> about two hours ago we were slogging up here huh? and there's the summit now it's amazing sunshine what although it was good that it was cloudy because otherwise the snow would have been slush here we go here we go down, down, down. Part of our descent, uh, we did it during the night due to safety reasons and maybe the crux of the whole trip was to not to get lost during the night and to stay focused the uh, whole night after already six days being on the mountain. <coughs> Some excellent diagonal repelling. <laughs> Tomorrow's. Tomorrow's today. Hmm? Tomorrow's today. What's today? Today is today. I know. What are you asking? I said it's 2.15. Yes. And then you said tomorrow's today. No, I said three more hours to get the sunshine. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> Five o'clock sunshine? Yeah. I don't know, it's just the way it is. <laughs> but I like the idea. Yeah. Six AM. Base camp is just down there, but the sun is coming. 
Schön and I am Tom. Tom Livingstone reporting from the field. Live. Live. From. Oh, yeah, back to studio. Mount Choctaw. What? <laughs> you know we're on the wrong mountain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always off. <laughs> oh. How's the pulmonary team? <laughs> yeah, these are my pearls of the Caribbean. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm not even gonna look. No, no, no. Green marbles of your lungs. <laughs> oh, she's just psyched on that mushroom. He's actually asleep. Oh, it's on. Come on. You need more power. <laughs> It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Nice one! Yeah! Would you describe that as your first world-class route? I don't care! <laughs>